This is uh, entitled Goose Game, really cool game where you're a goose and it just causes absolute mayhem. It's really fun, and this video is a little different from what I do than usual. I'm doing a voiceover for this entire game, and it's also like five minutes. So if you do enjoy it, make sure to let me know, and I'll do more in the future. So in we go. We're coming out of the lake, and we immediately rush over to the yard. Now, at this yard, there's a man. He's like, he's really freaking annoying. But yeah, we just waited by the gate patiently until he came out, and we absolutely just kind of dominated his toes. We, we just started destroying him from, you know, the bottom up. It was great, man. But uh, yeah, and uh, after a little bit, we did actually manage to get the keys off of him. And after we got the keys off of him, we could just get into the backyard and we could uh, start stealing all his carrots. We immediately attacked them and brought them over before deciding, hey, you know what, maybe a pumpkin's better. So then we just started dragging those out as I had a very hard time with the pumpkin and I hit it around a fence because he was coming in and I was terrified, man. I don't want to be caught. You don't know what he does to Goose, man. He might just like, he might kill us. He might skin us. He wants my feathers. He's going to turn me into like a pen. But we get out and we uh, bring the carrots and the, uh, you know, good old pumpkin back to home base. And then we go back for more. As we walk over, I decide to turn on the little water and try to grab anything I could find. Uh, Caleb takes the rake, I take the jam, we just start bolting it, we hide in the bushes, we're so sneaky. It, there's no way he could possibly find us. And as we uh, head our way down the bottom, and he's having a very hard time carrying the rake, just out of nowhere. This man just bolts out, and we just spread. We just run for it. We leave the rank. I think, yeah, we grab the jam, and we make it out, but that guy is like a demon with a mustache and a small hat. He was so terrifying. Why did he come around that corner at Mach 10? I don't understand. But yeah, we, uh, again, retrieve the items and put them in home base. So we went back again, this time for the canister and the radio. Uh, I was having such a hard time picking up the canister, and Caleb did get the radio, but as soon as I got the canister, he started chasing me, so I let him into Caleb as a distraction, you know, sacrifices have to be made in order for progress to be made, you know, that's kind of how it works. And so then I just kind of bolt it, and uh, I'm yelling at Caleb all the while to, like, slow him down because he's on my toes, and so I, I kind of drop this off in the corner and try to hide it. And it actually turned out to be a great idea. We uh, basically, you can see her grabbed it and returned it back to where we needed it to be. All safe and sound, completely predicted, and it was amazing. All right? It was awesome. All right, and we're back at it again to get this rank. Last time we tried to attempt to grab it, this man came flying off out of a corner like you say in Bolt, like scaring the heck out of us. So we tried again, uh, I was just grabbing the rake, chilling. Caleb was having a little bit of a hard time with the radio. Uh, this man kept on plucking his feathers as he tried to ran. Not great for him, but it was great for me because he kept all the attention away. Yeah, just look at him, just spinning and twirling in circles. It's beautiful. It's awesome. And was, yeah, I just kind of sit around the corner and then as soon as he starts walking away, I'm just like, oh, I gotta make a break for it. Caleb tries to grab the radio, fails yet again after he plucks his feathers, and I just tell him, can we please leave? I'm going to put the rake in the lake and get this objective done. I do not want to do it anymore. And I did. Pretty dope. Anyways, enough wasn't enough, so we ran and stole the radio, came bursting out, and I mean, it would've looked great if it wasn't like slideshow, you got like, horrible frame rate just dropped, but, you know, other than that, we got the objectives done, we completed this area, and we were pretty happy. Look at us, we're having a great picnic. Here, I'm just gonna let you experience this last bit, alright?